Now, this is Mark Marcantonio for WesternBass.com. Today I'm going to show you a couple of the latest features of the new Lowrance HDS Live unit. So hopefully you'll find it interesting and uh, you'll learn a couple things that you didn't realize was available. This is the home screen page for my HDS Live-12, which uh, is the same software version is available also for carbons and even Gen 3 units. So uh, this is your typical uh, home page that you can see. And if you look, I have set up a preset button down here for both chart and video. And there you can see that I brought up a screen that left side I've got a chart and on the right side I've got the picture of our friend Jimmy Reese and I am going to show you how I can stream live video right onto this unit so that you can never miss your westernbass.com favorite magazine articles or even watch a football game or baseball game while you're out pre-fishing for the next tournament. I have my cell, another cell phone hooked up with a cable to the, the, the Live 12 unit. Let's go ahead and start that. And hey guys, Jimmy Reese here for Western Bass. I want to give you guys a little tip on fishing cold water or even really hot water. Uh, so basically, I have a six inch Cinco here, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to make Gary Yamamoto some more money, right? Watch this. I'm going to cut it in half. I got a jig trailer now, right? So, why would I do this? Well, first of all, Okay, so you can see, you can play your videos, you can stream live video or recorded video directly onto these new units. And the uh, HDS-12 and the HDS-16 are the two sizes that have this capability. While I'm on the front, let me show you a couple other things like on the chart. So, as you can see in my hand, I've got what is now the new Lowrance LR-1 remote control unit, which you can hang around your neck or clip it to your belt. And this little remote control unit can become very handy. A lot of people are wondering, why do I need a remote control unit for a fish finder? But it is very handy if you're up on the front of the boat and you're cruising along the shallows and you want to uh, make adjustments but don't want to get off the trolling motor because of the wind or because you're, you're busy sight fishing, uh, you've got the ability to make adjustments right from the remote control. So first, if you look at the chart, I'll go ahead and zoom in. Uh, by Just by pressing the button, I can zoom in real quickly. And... Uh, You'll also see some different color bands. I'm, I've actually am using the live mapping. This is uh, Lake Casitas where I was out last weekend and I was doing live mapping which allows me to put accurate one foot contour lines down directly, draw a map as I'm fishing and they're accurate. And I can save this and onto an SD card, a micro SD card and review it over and over again. But this remote gives me the ability to zoom in and zoom out. And with live mapping, I can color code different bands of water. Blue for really deep water. I've got yellow set for between uh, 20 feet and 30 feet. Green above 30 feet. And uh, so you can do all kinds of things and adjust this. You can save way, waypoints um, if the, with this waypoint button I have in my thumb here. Let's say I'm cruising along the shallows real fast on tro with the trolling motor on high, just looking for beds. Uh, every time I see a bed, I can just press the waypoint button and save a waypoint instantly and never bending down, never stopping, never taking my foot off the trolling motor. Move along real fast, bang, bed, bang, bed. Or maybe I want to run a buoy line and mark all the buoy lines so I don't cross the off-limits area. You can save waypoints all along there. And like I say, zoom in, zoom out. You can do all kinds of different functions. You can, um, you can even uh, put the unit on uh, suspend mode so that you shut down the, the transducers from moving and turn it back on. So you can hop from the front of the boat to the back real quick and turn the front transducer off. All kinds of different uh, functions with this handy little remote control unit. It's Bluetooth right to the HDS live unit. So let's go back to the video for a second. I want to show you how I actually got that video to play. The uh, 
my phone, my cell phone, that is connected with an HDMI cable. It, I have a Compact C connector on the end of the cable. I'll take this out and show you. So one end of the cable is this um, uh, Compact C uh, connector that, that works on my, this is a Samsung phone, and we'll follow the cable around to the back. And you'll see on the back of, of the units that the cable comes right in to the back of the unit to an HDMI port. So it's got an HDMI connector on this end. You've got the HDMI port right here on the back of the, um, this is a Live 12 unit. And over here you also have a USB connection. So you can plug your cable into there and keep your phone charged through, while you're out there on the water. Uh, another thing I'll show you while I'm here is this is an adapter cable that I have hooked up to the back of, of the on the sonar port and this adapter cable lets you use the old style seven pin transducers like your most people have the seven pin transducers already mounted on their boat the brand new transducers that are coming out are nine pins so this is a simple adapter cable that you can plug into either of the ports and it allows you to use your current or existing older style transducers even with the new live unit great flexibility there as you can see you've got two ethernet ports you've got your NEMA 2000 port power and then two sonars channel one and channel two which lets you hook up multiple transducers so that is a quick rundown of some of the features of the new Lowrance HDS live units this is Mark Marcantonio for WesternBass.com. Ciao.